In today's video, I will show you how to use a quote API, specifically this one called Quotable. This is what the final result will look like when using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once you have everything set up in Postman, we can hit send to make a request to the API. And this is a response that we get back. As you can see in this response, we get back a random quote and we also get back other data that relates to it. And just before we start, I will have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download this exact Postman collection completely for free so that you don't have to manually recreate each of these API calls. So to start, we can go back to this GitHub repo and if we scroll down, we can read more about this specific quote API here. The most important thing to note is that this this is the base URL, which we'll be making our API calls to. Once we have the base URL, we can click on any of these API references and start making API calls to it. So if I click on this one, which is the get random quote, we can now see the additional query parameters that we can send to get a more specific quote back. Going back to Postman, you can see I just copy and pasted the base URL and I just added the endpoint here, which is backslash random. And that is all you need to send to get back a valid response from the quote API. In the next example, I will show you how to get back three random quotes from the API instead of just getting a single quote. If we go back to the GitHub page and click on get random quotes, we can read more about how we can get multiple quotes from the API call. The only change we need to make is to update our URL to match this URL here. Also, if we look at this limit query parameter, we can see that the default is one, but we can go all the way up to 50. But in this example, I will just do three just to show you we can get back three random quotes. Going back to Postman, you can see this is the endpoint I'm now hitting. I just updated it based on the documentation. And I'm also passing in a limit query parameter and I'm specifying the value as three to get back three random quotes. Now I'll hit send. And as you can see here, we get back three random quotes. For the next API call, I will show you how to get a random quote based on a tag. And the tag will influence the type of quote that we get back. Going back to GitHub, we can read more about the tag query parameter here and how it works. Going back to Postman, you can see that this API call is very similar to the previous one, except now I don't have a limit query parameter. I just have a tags query parameter. And for the value, I just put history. Because of this tag, I should now get a quote that relates to history now. So I'll hit send. You can now see that the quote is by Abraham Lincoln and it has to relate to history. For the last API call, I will show you how to get a random quote where you can specify the minimum and maximum length. This is similar to the previous API call, except now I don't have a tag, but I just have a min length and a max length variable to specify the minimum length as well as the maximum length. Once I hit send, you can now see the quote that I get back is between 30 to 50 characters. That is the end of this quote API tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.